It's your boy Raymond Chaka Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm about to the live stream. Before I get into that live stream, I want to remind everyone that I leave the link to a different playlist in every description box. Take the time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist. If you like my channel or find my channel useful, take a moment to subscribe and turn on post bed notifications. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to give a shout out to all my silent supporters. If you if you took a break from making YouTube content and use your channel to support your favorite YouTubers, thank you for your support. It's much appreciated. If you have a YouTube channel just to support your favorite YouTubers, thank you for your support. It's much appreciated as well. We have about another live stream, and this live stream is based about what's going on with what's going on with the restaurant business right now. What's going on with the restaurant business right now as we speak? And I'm going to get into this on this. What the? And what I want to share with y'all is what's going on out here in the world. What's going on out here that way all confusion comes to an end. And people got their heads up of what's going on. Not talking about no particular restaurant, just what's going on in the fast food chain. Not talking about no particular fast food restaurant, just talking in general. Just talking in general about what to expect. As you can tell, As you can tell from the title of the video, it's called. Oh. As you can tell from the title of this video, it's called When the Online Order Stop, the store is closed. Let me say that one more time for those that didn't hear it so y'all can understand what I'm talking about. When the online order stops, the store is closed. When the online order stops, when the online, that means all DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, the phone in orders for the lazy, for the lazy customers that come to the that come to the restaurant, sit in the pocket line, put an order in, and then come to drive through and thinking they're gonna speed things up and get their food quicker. All of that. When all online orders stop, that's when the store is closed now. I'm gonna explain why. That's when the manager considered the store is closed. So you're talking about Taco Bell, cookout, being open to 3 a.m. Online the order stops 20 minutes before the store closed. So Taco Bell and Taco Bell and Cookout closes at 3 a.m. 2.40, the online order machine shuts down. All tablets shut down at 2.40. Even with Sonics. We close at 2 a.m. The online orders tablets shuts off. Shuts off at 140. And I don't know how other stores doing it. But me at Sonics, 140, I plan, I plan to be doing the trash run, taking everything to the trash. That means everything in the trash. That means everything in the trash. Everything. I cook enough meat from I cook enough meat from I cooked 10 patties and 10 out the one. For that it lasts from, it takes five minutes to get done. For that it lasts from 120 to 140. Or 135. That the latest. I'm going to clean the grill, I'm going to get everything done. At 140, 135, I'm cutting everything off. All the fry getting cut off. The grill is turned off. The prep, the sandwich sessions is put away. Everything put up. Everything's put up. When I do that last trash run, that's my last duty for the day, for the night. Like I say, I'm reminding y'all, online orders ends at one at 20 minutes before the restaurant closes. 20 minutes before the restaurant closes, that's when all online orders ends. That's when all online orders end. Online is Grubhub, Doordash, Uber Eats, 
and phone it or the orders you make on your phone through the mobile app from each restaurant. All of that cuts off. Don't let no more order. It don't, not us, that tablet. That tablet that we use to see those orders, to ring those orders up, cuts off 20 minutes before the restaurant closed. Yes, Taco Bell's open to 3 a.m., but I'm pretty sure they probably doing the same. They're taking full advantage. Like, hey, if online orders end at 2.40, we're shut down. We, we going home at 1.40, 10 till 3. I'm pretty sure Taco Bell probably doing it that way. I'm pretty sure... I don't think cookout doing it like that because they always got a line when I leave at 2 in the morning, but you never know. But I know at, at as soon as I work at, they close at 2 a.m., yes. 1.40, I'm going to head out the door with everything. All the trash is left. My trash can, the front trash, um, all the food, everything's gone. Everything's gone. I'm filling y'all in on this so y'all can know, you know. There's no rule that said we got to stay open to the, to the time that it says on the door. You know, with the online order stop, that's where the most money coming in at. Late night anyway. It's the online orders. When the online orders in, we shut the store down. Everything is shut down. All I gotta do is take the trash out, come in, turn everything off, and that's that. But I usually turn it all off before I go out the store. We're doing the last trash run. And give y'all a heads up, because I'm tired of people catching attitudes. I'm tired of people catching attitudes. They see me doing the trash run. Are y'all closed? Yes, we're closed. No, I know it's say two o'clock, but with the online order stop, we, we ready to go on. Then look at the menu, look at the time, or oh, it, it, it's 145. I understand what time it is, but you know, keep in mind, we have a family too. We have a family. Some of us work two full-time jobs. We want to go home just like you want to get some, some fast food late at night. So they can't attitude and drive off with that too. No big deal, but you know, nobody wants to be at work all night to serve you food all night. Yes, I lose 20 minutes of light, so what? You know what I mean? So what? Hey, how you doing? Happy Monday. I mean, happy Friday. TJM Friday. I'm just filling everybody in. What's going on with fast food nowadays? You know, fast food now got it where you can do online orders. Me and the DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and people can put online orders in through their phone. Okay, with those computers, the old tablets, because those are ran by tablets. They make a noise, we go click on it, we see the order, we bring it up. And then we, 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 uh, it goes up again when whoever's picking it up is, is five minutes away. You know what I mean? I'm your first subscriber in Ball Ring and Bear Ring and Join. Lee, Legend, All Do Anything. What? Okay, whatever that means. But like I was saying, all online orders at all fast food restaurants, all restaurants, online orders stops 20 minutes before the store closes. I mean, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, whatever other apps, y'all, whatever online service y'all use to, to buy food, and even phone orders, all that stops at 140. The tablet automatic shuts off. We don't control it. I'm in America, Virginia, but uh, all online orders come to a decease at 20 minutes before the restaurant closed. So Taco Bell Cookout is open to 3 a.m., some sun is over 24 7. the one i work in is over till two in the morning so all online orders that sun is stop at 140. when that clock says 140 i plan to have everything already shut off all the food already thrown away you know what i mean one thing i had left to do is, is do a trash run everything gone just filling everybody in that don't mean because the online order stop the, the employee gonna stay another 20 minutes and making more food for y'all for y'all to come in and get a corn dog at, at 2 o'clock, 2 30 in the morning. No, we're not doing that. I'm trying to get home, get get to bed as soon as possible so I can get some rest to start my double shift for the next day. You know, just being real with y'all. That's what's going on with fast food, all restaurants now. Since the online orders came out, that's what's going on. We're, we're, online orders stop. The computers, the tablets, the tab is cut off 20 minutes before the store closes. The tab is cut off 20 minutes before the store closes. Just for y'all to know, a lot of customers come through at, at 10 till 1, 10 till 2. Are you going to have no mozzarella sticks, no cheddar peppers? No, I'm trying to get home like you're trying to get some food. You don't have anything in your fridge to go home and eat real quick? And they catch attitude when I tell them stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, if the, if the, if the customer gets slick, I'm going to get slick too. And that's what it comes to. 
Like, we're not trying to stand there the whole to 2 o'clock in the morning to serve you some food. Sorry, but uh, we're not doing that. You know what I mean? We want to get home and get some rest and, and whatnot. Just where you want some food. Just filling y'all in what's going on that way. You know, if, if you go to a restaurant late night want to buy some food, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. sun is open 24-7. Some sun is open 24-7. Other sun is closed at a certain time. When I work in here, Virginia closed at 2 a.m. And by 1.40, I have everything already in the trash, headed out the door to do the last trash run. That way, when I come into the restaurant, I ain't got nothing to do. This. I don't know what I have to do is stand around and wait the clock out at it till or 2 o'clock. Just being real. Your God is your prophet if you don't know. What? About the transfer. But anyway, Trying to stay on top of him. And Philly y'all in what's going on with fast food. So all your favorite restaurants that people like to go, customers like to go to at one, two, three in the morning. Keep that in mind before you come through. Look at your watch. Okay, it says it says it's 10 till and you got 10 more minutes to drive with the road. Don't think that restaurant gonna stay open for you to get there. Them employees trying to get home just like you trying to get there to get some food. Just being real, child. You know, just just being real. So if you try to put an order online order in and see that the store still got five minutes to close, the online machine already turned off. You know? Just being real with you. Just being real with you. You know what I mean? Just being real with you. Yeah, what's going on out here? Cause I try to have everything in the trash. I try to have everything in the trash by by 140. Literally, by 140. I cook my last round of meat, which is another eight pallets, another eight pallets, another eight patties. Once I get those done, that's it. It's time to put them to the side and clean the grill. You know what I mean? I put those to the, I put those to the, I put those to the side, going to clean the grill. The floor gets scrubbed at one o'clock. Those are the last two big things I gotta do before I leave at night. I scrub the floor at one a.m. One a.m. on the day, and I have no more dishes to do. But small dishes, I can just rinse off and scrub with some soap real quick and dip in the sanitizer water. Just filling y'all in what's going on nowadays with fast food. You know, filling y'all in what's going on with fast food. Happy Friday to everybody in the chat. Make sure you smash that thumbs button. Look at how you spending your Friday. Me, I have an early day, so I'll be at, ooh, I'm not running this light. I'll be out today by 1 o'clock at the latest. I'll be out today by 1 o'clock at the latest, if not earlier than that. I have three stops. I'm getting these three stops done, four pallets to, to my last stop, and two one pallet stores. I'm gone. I'm gone. So my store, my clipboard, dry yesterday. Everybody swear they ain't seen it, but I'm pretty sure somebody seen a clipboard on the floor with application on it. No, it won't dare. They still took it. You know what I mean? I know they seen it and took it. So now, now I gotta go to Walmart and buy one. And I'm gonna go to Walmart and buy one. And I'm gonna get a marker or something and spray paint my name on it where they can't scrub it off. Or I will leave it in the truck every day, every night. You know what I mean? Because the clipboard make my life so much easier. Literally, you know? Okay, how you doing? Little boy made my life so much easier with working this job. Look like I'm be like I'm about to be here for a little while. It is what it is. We stuck in traffic, still gonna get it done early. It's like you can't get on the highway without being stuck in traffic. You can't get on the highway without getting stuck in traffic, man. That will that will burn up a lot of my time getting stuck in traffic. Like literally stuck in traffic. But sure, all this traffic in front of me is to get on the highway. So, make the best of this day, get this, get this work done. And get myself home as soon as possible. That way I can get to do other things that I want to do. So I might do more than two live streams today. I might, I might not. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it at two. I'm gonna keep it at two live stream today. I'm tricking you, bro. Okay. But yeah. What are some of y'all favorite fast food restaurants or restaurants to eat at while we on the live? Me, I'm trying to leave every restaurant alone but Chick-fil-A. Hello, Express Basket and Streets. How you doing today? Happy uh happy Friday. I'm caught up on all your uploads, you know. I'm waiting on new uploads to so I can support your channel. I have the bell on. How you doing on this Friday? What you up to? I'm just filling everybody in that all restaurants, the online order stops 20 minutes before the restaurant closes. It just shuts down. It turns it in power. All restaurants, the online order, meaning Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and the phone in order y'all put in through the mobile apps for the, for the restaurant you're trying to get food from, all online order stops 20 minutes before the store closes. And nine times out of 10, those restaurants that know this, because I just caught on, this been going on since January, and I just caught on in like the last 90 days. I just caught on like last month that that means we can close the store once the online order stops. Because late at night, like me, I work at Sonics, and Sonics I work at is over to 2 in the morning. Cookout is over to 3 in the morning. Taco Bell's over, excuse me, Taco Bell's over to 3 in the morning. So I'm pretty sure they, they taking advantage of the same thing when the online, or when the online tablets, Two tablets for a restaurant. When the online tablet shuts down at, at two forty, I'm pretty sure they trying to be out that store ten minutes after the the the, the tablet shuts off. But I know I do. I've been trying to leave one forty five. You know, I'm trying to leave one forty five. Like, you know, customer catching attitude. They come through the drive to see me taking out the trash. Uh, are y'all still open? We open, but we have nothing left. What do you mean? I know we closed at 2 a.m., but all online orders stop at 140. We try to be out of here at 10 till 2. Like, what? Yeah. You think we're going to stand here and just stand around, look stupid, waiting on y'all? Be at me here after 2 in the morning? No, man. <coughs> Them days over. Them days over. Them days over. Them days are over. You know? So I'm filling everybody in on that piece of information. Cause all the time, I thought that the online orders in when the store closes at two or three in the morning. No, the online order stops twenty minutes before the restaurant closes. So, with that being said, a lot of restaurants is using that to their advantage to leave, not to leave early, but to have everything done by one forty, one forty-five in that restaurant. I know I'm taking that to my full advantage. You know, I cooked my last round of meat. Uh, patties at Sonic, which is four, which is eight patties, and I cooked them at chapter one. Got a last uh, one, one, 140. I scrubbed the floor, like I throw soap water all over the floor, some degreaser, scrubbed the whole floor, rinse it off, squeeze the water up. I start all that at one o'clock. One o'clock on the head is when I start all of that right there. You know what I mean? Like it, it's time to get home. I got a long set of my phone that goes off at 140 let me to remind me to do the trash room at 140 and then that also reminds me that the online orders just shut off i plan to have everything ready to go in the trash ready to go out the door i mean as i'm dumping everything in the trash i'm turning off the fryers i'm turning off the grill everything's turned off the bun the bun toaster the heater everything the bun the the food warmer everything's turned off by 135 for me to do a trash run at 140, 145. Every night I close. Five nights a week, this is what I'm doing to help myself get out of there as soon as possible. You know, that way that last 20 minutes or 10 minutes, <coughs> I gotta stand there and look at the clock until or uh, upload my um or edit my not edit but um how you say it? change the settings on my YouTube video that I upload at midnight. Yeah. Cause it, it, you know what I mean? Just, just, just be real with y'all. Because I have been cussed out a few times. A couple of customers had caught an attitude with me. How y'all closing early and we still and you still open another 10 minutes? Hey. When the online order shut down at, at 20 till, everything else shut down. You know, everything else shut down. Being real. 
I mean, who wants to be at who wants to be at work all night shoving y'all food food to two three in the morning? You know the crazy stuff people order. So, but that's another topic. I'm just feeling y'all in. Hey, trigger cat. Happy Friday. How you doing today? As you can see, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm at a standstill right now. But I'll be to my first stop at 8.34, so I got time. Hopefully. You know, it's crazy. Everybody want to be in the right lane, but you try to get in the left lane to speed up traffic. But to speed up, and now you're at a standstill, just like I'm at a standstill. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button as y'all coming to live, man. You know? But I just want to share that. Where, where you at? I don't know where you at America, Trigger, Trigger Cat, but I'm just informing everyone that all restaurants, fast food and not regular restaurants, Hooters, Applebee's, uh, TJ and Friday, all restaurants, online order tablets, shuts down 20 minutes before the restaurant closes. 20 minutes before the restaurant closes, all online orders tablets shuts down. I mean, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, your phone in orders, all that shuts down because all that comes through the same tablet. When that shuts down at 140, I try to have a whole store clean, done, ready to go home at 10 till 2. And I'm pretty sure Taco Bell doing the same thing. I'm pretty sure Cookout doing the same thing. Like, employers taking full advantage of that. Employers are taking full advantage of that. It's not snitching, just let you know what it is. So if you ever, if you pull up the Taco Bell at three o'clock on the head and they walking out the door going home, that's why. That's why. That mean employee getting tired of y'all, getting tired of customers coming through at three in the morning for, for some French fries, a hot dog. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm gonna show that in, in my video on my way back to work. I don't wanna get in all that right now, but yeah. Employees, you know, keep in mind, Keep in mind, everyone that worked fast food, not a loser, not a bum or a high school dropout, you know. You know what I mean? It's a reason you see all older people with gray hair on their body, on their face and head, working in fast food. It's a reason. Because the kids turning that money down, so the one that's 25 and up getting that money, 25, 35, 45, 55, they getting that money. You know, just being real with y'all. All the work that the, the young generation is too lazy to do, now the older generation doing it. You know, I'm just being real with y'all. You know, and, and not not trying to be rude or anything, but we got a life too. We got a, we have a life too outside of work. Some of us has kids, grandkids, a second job that we go to like I do. That's why I be trying to get out of work as soon as possible because I want to go home to get to bed earlier. So to me get home at 2.30, I can get home there. I can save myself 15 minutes to get home at 2.15. It's to the 2.30 in the morning. And be in bed, sleep by 2.45. You know what I mean? Just being real. Just being real with y'all, you know? Nobody wants to be in, be in there all night making all this crazy stuff y'all want to eat. But I'm going to talk about that on my way home because, boy, look here. You'd be surprised how many customers, customers come through, boyfriend, girlfriend, because cause some of the crazy orders, I got to go to the window to see who it is. I mean, it's not working real hard. It's just working smart, like, You'd be surprised that dumb stuff people want one, two o'clock in the morning. You know, I'm not going to details right now because I want to, I plan to talk about that on my way home once I drop once I do these three deliveries. But it's it's, it's real crazy. Like like people, can, I'm gonna go into a little bit and then talk about it again when I do my other live. But like yeah, I work in Sonic, people come to one and four at night for a medium mozzarella sticks. Like who the hell? Got some mozzarella sticks on their mind. One and forty in the morning. One thirty the a.m. Who in the world coming to a restaurant for a burger at one thirty in the morning or a cheddar peppers? I'm looking at orders like, what? Is this what's on, on your mind? Like you could go home and eat your bowl of cereal or eat your fruit? Cause y'all y'all gonna see why I say this. Like when I move in my apartment in August, when I move my crib in August, you gonna see. I'm gonna keep a fruit bowl. I make I'm gonna make a different fruit bowl every week. So that way, if I get home with a little hunger pains, ooh, wee, that vehicle tipped over. That's what holding up traffic. How the hell that vehicle tipped over? Somebody was doing a lot of speeding to make this vehicle tipped over. Y'all ain't getting over. Y'all should already got over. I'm standing on my person's ass that's in front of me. This vehicle tipped over. But yeah, I'm, I stay with stuff in my free, like like some um some cereal to eat. If I get out worried at 2 o'clock in the morning, 
a little hungry, I eat me a bowl of cereal. You tell me y'all too good to do eat a bowl of cereal? You got to come to a restaurant and get mozzarella sticks, uh, um, cheddar peppers, French toast. You know what I mean? Like I be looking, like, I be looking at the orders like, wow, like you got the idiots to do an online order. Y'all call them idiots because they kind of they kind of and want to want to want a, a, a foot long chili cheese dog and add extra chili, extra cheese, extra ketchup, extra mustard, extra onion, extra relish. All this on a hot dog. You're not gonna taste most of that. With extra, extra, with extra all that on a hot dog, you're not gonna taste all that. And Sonic's had, I'm not talking bad on my job, but Sonic had real thin bun. I can imagine you trying to pick that hot dog up and eat it with extra chili, extra cheese, extra ketchup, extra mustard, extra onion, extra relish. Like, I know they go well. You, you spend all this money just to, just for the hot dog to break in half on you for all the, all the stuff that you got added to it to fall all on your hand. Is that what you wasting your money on? It's like a lot of people don't think before they make these online orders. Like, literally. A lot of people don't think before they make these online orders. So, the employees to the point where they're like, man, look here. I want to get these orders out the way ASAP. I want to get these orders out the way ASAP so I can get my butt home. And that's what's going on. Like, people ain't, people ain't standing there till 2, 3 in the morning just for you to come through and order a meat or mozzarella sticks. And don't don't come with that excuse. If people that just first got to work, no, nine times ten people that 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 just left the club or just left a, a hangout night and now want to go get some come get some fast food. It's rare. It's rare. It's people that that's fresh off work coming through two three in the morning for food. Cause I cause a lot of the crazy orders, I got to come to the window and see who it is. If they black or they white, what color they is. You know what I mean? Cause I can tell when it's a black person with some crazy stuff. And I can tell when it's somebody else, but another race, you know, just how it is. I got to come see it. Are you in your, are you in your work clothes or in your regular street clothes? Nine out of ten, people in their regular street clothes, boyfriend and girlfriend, coming to fast food two o'clock in the morning to get food. Like you got a girl, she can't get in and cook. You know what I mean? Because because that's a that's a top priority for me in the relationship. You can't cook, I don't need you. I'm forty three. If you and I don't date younger than forty, and I don't date older than forty five. You telling me you that old and you can't cook? You won't be in my life. Like, straight up. You ain't willing to cook at least five nights a week. You won't be in my life. And if we go out to eat, it'd be at a restaurant like Applebee's, uh, uh, Chatters, stuff like that. That's so y'all just asked it. This is why I traffic moving slow this morning. This is why. That vehicle tilted over right there, man. And that was a regular Ford. That's a regular Ford that hit it. Yo, that thing tilted over. I pray they okay. It was a work truck. Look at that. That work truck messed up. Yo. Whoa. I pray they. I pray they okay. You're telling me a Ford. A Ford did all that. A Ford pick up, A Ford SUV <coughs> hit that pickup truck that hard. Wow. Yeah, dude. That was that way here. Traffic moving slow this morning. They okay, cause that, that pickup truck, that Chevy pickup truck is messed up. That Chevy pickup truck, the whole front windshield out, it tipped over sideways. Wow. Gotta be safe out on these highways, man. These highways ain't no joke. These highways are no joke. I ain't gonna say it's terrible trouble, don't let like nobody was dead, but yeah, it's, both vehicles pretty, pretty beat up. Both vehicles pretty beat up. Uh, uh, uh. You know, you know how that go. You know how that go. Yeah, term it. I pray everybody okay. I pray all parties involved is okay. You gotta be safe on these highways, you know? Try to leave early. If you're running late, if you're running late, don't speed up to try to wait to try to catch your time, make up time. You're not gonna make up time. All they gonna do is burn up more gas. You're not gonna make up no time. Time loss is just time loss. Get up early, set your alarm that you gonna wake up to. Like me, I got the eh, eh, eh. I got the most aggravating ringtone there is on my iPhone. That sound like a, the purge. That's how loud it is. I'm guaranteed to wake up. Like, you know, be safe out here on these roads. Be safe. 
we by here traveling, traveling state to state on a Friday, on the weekend. Let's be safe out here. Be safe. Be safe. Not just on a Friday, but any day of the week. Be safe. You know what I mean? Don't try to make up time. Don't try to speed and make up time. The only thing you're going to do is burn up more gas. That's all you're going to do. Burn up more gas. That's all you're going to do. There's no way to make up time. You can't turn by the hands of time. There's no way to make up time. That's seven that you're going to lay and plan for them. I hope everybody okay to ask them. What to give? <coughs> but yeah, y'all keep that in mind. All online orders is 20 minutes, all, all of the tablets. Each restaurant has two tablets for online orders. Each restaurant has two tablets for all, for all online orders. You know? Keep in mind, the employees try to get home too. When the online order stop at, at 20 minutes before the store closed, the employees in there trying to have everything done that way they can get home as soon as possible. Just filling y'all in. Yeah, if y'all do, I think, I think phone orders will still come through. I think, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, because the old just pop up on the screen. But, I know for sure, who needs to do a grub hug, those have to shut down at 20 till the store, 20 till. 20 minutes before the store closes. Just filling y'all in. Just get, try to go to your favorite restaurant late night, and you see that the employees going home, and they stay over for another 10, 5 minutes, and you know why. When the online order stops, when the old tablet shut down, we consider the store closed already. We consider it closed. Is that simple? And you come to try to and you beat the you beat the cook on putting everything in the trash, and yeah, you might get something. Or if the fry is still on, you might get something, but if downtown 10, the fry is probably already cut off at 1.30. I mean, that way they got 10 minutes of heat to cool off. Good to go. It's being real. The employees trying to get home too. The employees do have a life outside of work. The employees do have a life outside of work. Just for the y'all in. The employees do have a life outside of work. You know what I mean? Everyone that works fast food is not a loser with a dead end job. No. Some of us had grandkids. Uh, bills, when I say bills, I'm a bill, rent, light bill, and the car insurance, car note. We got real bills in our day, and we're taking that job with a fast food restaurant because it's easy money. Since all the young kids don't want it, got every excuse why they can't work till 2 3 in the morning. So, people my age make that extra money on these fast food restaurants. And as y'all see, I get a lot of I get a lot of overtime, I get a lot of overtime, but I'm getting to the point where I'm like. Forget the overtime. Let's get home as soon as possible and get more rest before going to my day job in the morning. That's what my mindset is. You know, because like me, the sun as I work at, I'm 43, and the manager that clothes with me five nights a week, she 45, 46. She works two jobs, I work two jobs. Don't you think we want to get out there as soon as get out of that store, get out of Saunders as soon as possible to get home and get some rest? I mean, I hope y'all would think so, you know? I will hope y'all would think so. I told you, man, time, times have changed a lot. Times have changed a lot, yo. Times have changed a lot. But keep in mind, a lot of restaurants is using that to their advantage. Okay. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Cookout. I'm pretty sure everybody familiar with Cookout. I never heard of Cookout until I moved to Virginia. But Taco Bell, Cookout. Yeah, they I'm pretty sure they're taking advantage of it. I'm pretty sure they're taking advantage of Oh, all online order stop 20 before we close so we can have everything done get out the door at 10-10. Just being real. Just being real. Keep that in mind as y'all trying to pull up the need fast food restaurant five minutes before they close when they order food. Just think about how mad you gonna make that cook knowing that you coming through and, and let's say Taco Bell, I mean, let's say, yeah, let's say Taco Bell to cook out. You come to cook out at, at 2.55 to order some food. Don't you think you about to piss that cook off? Don't you think you really about to piss that? I'm, they look like, who the hell come? I know I do it all the time. Who the hell come to Sundays at 1.55 to 
with your order some food. Like people really get a get a hard, get a nut, an orgasm from coming to a restaurant five minutes before they close, thinking you'll get something extra. When times have changed, a lot has changed in fast food. You might not get no answer, you might get the best, you might say, hey, um, I'm sorry, um, everything is shut down for the night. What? Everything is shut down? Yeah, uh, when the online order stop, we, we don't serve no more food. You know? See, the manager not rude like that. I tell you, so, hey, man, uh, all online orders shut down at 140. I try to have everything done 10 till. Oh, but you got five minutes. So, I tell you straight up. Especially if you catch me doing a trash run, I'm gonna say like this. So, you wanna you, you came all the way up here with some miles and runs of sticks. You came up here 141, 5 to 2 for some cheddar peppers. Laughing at you, dumb but I'm just being real. I ain't calling y'all no dummy, but that's why I be doing laughing at them in their face. What's well, funny? The fact that you out your bed, you uh 155 in the morning. To get some monster rudder sticks, a six piece monster rudder sticks, or you here to get a medium cheddar pepper, which is a six piece cheddar peppers at 1 55 in the morning. Like you telling me, it's nothing, it's nothing in the cabinets, no kind of snacks, nothing you could have ate at home instead of coming to a restaurant at 2 55 in the morning or 1 55 in the morning. Some, some, some customers get, get all get a hard on that. Coming through for a for a milkshake at 1 55 in the morning. Like, who the hell on the ice cream after midnight? You'd be surprised what a lot of customers come to. That's why employees wising up, asking questions, how did this work, how did that work? We observe it and figuring out shortcuts where we can kill some of that. And this is thanks to the online tab is shut down at 20 minutes for the store closed. We use that to our to our full advantage. Why? Cause we have a light to don't mind making the money but at the same time you know some employees some customers come through for stupid stuff late at night just be real just be real and that's how I nonsense just be real with y'all i can't get in trouble with this video i don't tell my manager a couple of times i'm gonna make this video i never got around to it and i know going live on youtube can reach a lot of people Can't they? I mean, we can't deny service is the store open, but you know we can. We don't have to answer the headset. You know what I mean? Like nine times out of ten, if it's five, if it's ten till for the trash room, I'm gonna say something to you. As the day going off, I hear the bell going off. I'm gonna say something to you. Hey, uh, everything's in the trash, man. Everything's cut off. I cut everything off in the store five minutes ago, so might have to cut the cookie you want. Ain't no might you have to come back tomorrow. Like I tell them quick. If I'm doing the if they come while I'm doing the trash room. You know? But customers should think like that. Hey, uh, I'm on my way to I'm on my way to cookout or I'm on my way to Taco Bell. They close at three. Here it is, two fifty. And I still got another ten minutes to drive to get there. Huh, let me turn around and go home. Or you put it into the driveway, you put it into the parking lot of Taco Bell or or a cookout or a Sonic's. And you know this particular Sunday close at midnight or two o'clock in the morning is five till. I mean, it's using your brain. Do you really think any food left at, at five till? Do you really think everything still cut on at five till? I mean, come on, that's just a common sense thing. That's just a common sense thing. Cause I know me, if I get home two o'clock in the morning, I'm hungry. Guess what? It's something my friends would really eat. It's something. A bowl of cereal, tip to take out the hunger pants to the next day. It's something that my kids should eat. Trust and believe that. Trust and believe that. You know? But it, it, it be funny to me how people be so late coming in at 155, 255 and cook out at Taco Bell to get processed food. I be looking like, man, is processed food really this popular now? I know when I was growing up, I got a home cooked meal all my life. Every relationship I was in was with a female that know how to cook. That like to cook five days a week. All the nice women don't like to cook. Eat out night. Friday for themselves. And that's it. You know what I mean? It'd it, it, it be shocking to how busy fast food be. No matter what day it is. Like, it, it, it's beginning to get very shocking to see. Very shocking. You know? I know to me it do. 
you get to be very shocked, like, wow, fast food this busy this late at night. You be coming through for, for an icy. Who the hell want an icy at 1 o'clock in the morning? Who the hell want a milkshake say 1 o'clock in the morning? You guys don't have nothing. Everything's cut off. Sir, everything's cut off and keep on walking on you. Go back into the bed and close the door. Like, that's simple. You should see. If I could record these customers, some of the crazy questions they ask, but I tell them that everything is already cut off in 15 till everything's already cut off in the trash, you'd be like, wow, like, are you serious? Run out your bed, your bed, and come get a milkshake. I didn't want a milkshake. Who the hell want a milkshake at 10 till 2? 10 till 3 in the morning. It's 2 50 in the morning. You came out your bed, you came all the way to a fast food restaurant for a milkshake. You think I'm not supposed to look at you like you stupid? Wow. I'm pretty sure at one point in time in every adult life, they had a fast food job. Whether in high school, in their young 20s, I'm pretty sure every adult in America they first job was probably a Wendy's or a McDonald's back in the day. Think about then, how it was there, how bad you used to get when here it was, it's five ten for you to get off at Wendy's or McDonald's and some customer come through for a medium fry or some kind of nonsense at one in the morning. Imagine how, how, how bad you used to get back then, that's how bad we get today. Ain't that changed? Like now, the only thing different now we, we, is that when the online order stop, we can go and shut the whole store down. That's the only difference. You know, back in the day, in the 90s and the early 2000s, and they had tablets, and they have online orders. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. We all come to need restaurant, yeah. Yes, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Please and thank you. I mean, if you do, you do, you don't, you don't. But it's sure a lot of y'all have experienced that already. You show up to a fast food restaurant five minutes or 10 minutes before they close, they tell you everything's in the trash. That's why. Everybody consider the restaurant closed when the online tablets go off. When they shut down, we consider the store closed. Yeah, people say that, but nine times out of 10, I go to the window and look and see who come to get this food. And majority of the time, they count that time of night is people in their regular clothes. You know what I mean? It's people in their regular clothes. And I'm pretty sure people got something they, in their fridge that they can either warm up or eat real fast to, to kill them argument pains that time of night. You know, just being real. I've been trying to get home. Y'all know I work two jobs. Hey, if I can stand around and relax for 10 minutes, I'm going to do that instead of making orders. If I have it, when I go do that trash run at 140, everything already cut off. And I'm throwing the food in the trash, I'm cutting off the fryer, I'm cutting off the grill. So that way, when 10 till, 5 till come, everything already cold, cold. Yeah. Man, that's day loss. If you don't know how to cook, YouTube, like I do. You can learn everything, you can learn everything about this earth from YouTube. You know what I mean? Is there's a lot of lazy people in the world. A lot of lazy people. They don't know how to cook. That's that's sad. And it don't just be young people. It be older people too coming through late night. I be mean, I be shocked to see older people in their fifties out one one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, come to get so uh, fast. So I'm looking like I be looking like they crazy. That's when I see couples come through. God, because they time after one o'clock. If I got a free moment. Hold on. Yo. What's good? Two big kids are in a, uh, and sit there, sit, sit them. What is in Newport News and what is in, what is in, uh, Suffolk? Because, um, he told me I had to take him this, told me I had to take him this morning. With the paperwork over there, he told me to take it.
Yeah. Don't take it. Yeah. Again, that's on me. I'll replace again. Yeah, I'm going out the way. Okay, I'm going out the way. Yeah, I'm going out the way. Can you help me? All right. Can you help me train on that truck? Learn that. Learn to drive that truck. If I can, if I can help you stay gas. I hear what you're saying. If, if not on our route, don't take it. I focus on five below. If not, if, if I'm not going that way, tell I'm not taking it. I can't take it. Or oh, you got to run it back here first. But I, I was told to focus on the five below. I don't mean to change the subject. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought I had to take it because this one he had the paper folded in half under my own central. I didn't see it, so I took the central out that little that little that little cut they put it up in the arm um, in the in the pallet. It was behind those papers. I'm like, what the hell? So I thought that it was already confirmed or whatever. It went with it. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, that's 
not, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, twice. Gas. Yeah. I got to understand. I got it. That's on me. Hey. Can we work on that, though? When you ready, we... we huh? I call it when I'm done, but well, I can test when I'm done. Right. Down with that. <coughs> Down my dear fuck. I just messed up. This is right on doing the Newport News and stuff is going out the way. Oh, the one to Jefferson. I'm going out the way for nothing. I'm going out the way for nothing, yo. Like, wow. But I'm thinking I had to do this rap because the paperwork was in with my paperwork. And then put it to the side on top of the McKenzie. So now I'm going to tell them just that. You got to run it by my boss. And this, this is going to weigh uh, just to make an answer $40. Wow. Wow. Yeah, they wanted to share that with y'all, you know. Oh, 255. They wanted to share that with y'all. What's going on with fast food? They wanted to share that with y'all. I done been, I been live for a whole hour. Damn. They wanted to share that with y'all. What's going on out here? So y'all can have a heads up. When you pull up to your favorite restaurant and you, you see ain't nobody there, that's why ain't nobody there. You, know, you pull up to your favorite restaurant five minutes before they close and they get in their cars ready to head home. That's why they head home, you know. Keep it ready to go home too. You no know, workers has a life just like y'all got a life. Understand some of y'all might be off work, but hey, hey, you get off work, you see that you put into a fast food restaurant at five minutes before they close. Think, Danny, a bell should go off in your head that that everything's already shut down. You said that kind of mindset. Like, everything's already trash. The workers want to get home too. That way, when the restaurant closes at three, they can head out the door. You know what I mean? Just being real. Just being real. Because me personally, there's no way in hell I would pull into a, a, a fast food restaurant other than IHOP or Waffle House that time of morning. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. Especially if I'm single now. I'm not putting up to no fast food restaurant two o'clock in the morning. Too much stuff, too much, too much, too much, too much shit going on in these streets to be out your house two o'clock in the morning if you don't have to. If it's not an emergency, I don't like to be out there that time of morning. You gotta know what, what be going on in these streets two o'clock in the morning. For y'all to be coming to Taco Bell, cook out two o'clock in the morning. But don't be over to three, Nah, I'm not been out that kind of that time of morning. That with a lot of stuff going there, a lot of shooting, a lot of robberies. You know what I mean? Nah, nah. All the drunks on the road, driving home from the club, the bars drunk. Nah, I'm not taking that kind of risk. But this, that's just me. That's just me. That's how I think. That's how I think. You know? It's like going to an a ATM at 3 o'clock in the morning. You set yourself up for problems. You set yourself up for problems. So the same thing with fast food. Short of the to a restaurant, you know they close at 3 a.m. and you pull it in drive, you put it in the parking lot at 255. You set yourself up for failure. You set yourself up for failure. It's, not, it's the same way. I'm just being real with you. I'm just being totally real with you, man. You set yourself up for a bad situation. You set yourself up for the chance of you just showing up to this restaurant and you know, burnt up gas for nothing. Cause nine times out of ten. I guarantee it. Don't play anything like I do. I guarantee you showing up at 255. 
doing when the restaurant closed at 3 a.m. I guarantee you everything's already shut down. They ready to go. I guarantee you. You see, if you if you you pull into a restaurant at 255 and you see the cook taking out the trash, that's who take the trash out. The cook. The cook. You see that cook taking out the trash? Let that let that show, let that be a bell in your head that tell you, hey. Everything already shut down and all the food in the trash. Cause if that cook doing the trash run after dark, yeah, everything's already in the trash. Cause nowadays they don't want us to leave the trash in the back no more for whatever reason. You know, so we take it out. We take out the trash. So you see the cook. You see someone doing the trash run. It's the cook. That's who go out the back door at night, the cook. The cook. You see that cook taking out the trash? No. That should tell you, hey, everything, all the food in the trash. But if that cook doing a trash run, that be all the food they had put to the side. It's under the heat lamps or whatever they call it at the restaurant you like going to. That be all that food that went in the trash and he don't turn all the fryers off. Just in case one of y'all come order some dumb shit. Everything's already shut down. All he gotta do is take out the trash, close the back door, go wash his hands, grab his phone, grab his charger. Go clock out. I mean, I'm just being real with y'all. Just being real with y'all. Nobody's taking the time to do all this, all this extra stuff. I understand some of y'all be fresh off work, but shut up in your head. Hey, I'm fresh off work. Now, time to see if you working that late, you working a job that got a vending machine, you know. But you want to ride around till you find a restaurant that's open till three in the morning. Who does that? Who does that? Why not pull up at a Wawa and get you a thing of fruit? Just being real. Just being real. You know, why not pull it on somewhere that's over 24 7? I'm just being real. I'll tell you how I think. Why not pull it on somewhere where you know they open all night? Because that's me. If I'm me, after the club, yeah, that's where I like to go. After a good night out, that's where I like to go early in the morning. I'll hop or Waffle House. You know what I mean? Because I want me some grits, eggs, some scrambled eggs with cheese, some grits. Yeah, waffle. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I like early in the morning. Just being real. But like I say, like I say, um, if I don't have to be out that time of morning, I don't like being out that time of morning. Cause that's when all kind of that's when the devil go to work. Just being real. Early in the mornings like that, two or three in the morning, that's when the devil really busy. Being real, that's when the devil really busy. That's when the idiots, the ignorant people, the true losers. Run wild when the sun go down. At that time of morning, I'm pretty sure it's somebody out there looking somebody in the raw that early in the morning. I'm pretty sure you might not see it with your clear eyes. You got to use your, your common knowledge to see where criminals standing at the raw you, like going to the ATM. If you won't go to the ATM 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning and get cash out of ATM, why would you go to a fast food restaurant 2, 3 in the morning or 5 minutes before they close? And just like that, you set yourself up for a bad situation. I'm just speaking my honest opinion. Now, look at me. I don't want to buy nothing to eat later. Look what I got. I had my bowl of oatmeal. And look what else I got to munch on. I got me a bowl of water butter from Wawa this morning. You know what I mean? Like, like you know. I'm just saying. Because I know when I move in this hotel, when I move in this city state hotel, I'm gonna keep something in the fridge for night when I get off work and feel a little hungry. I'm just being real. When I get off work from Sunday two in the morning, I'm gonna have something in the fridge. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a video for y'all to see. Damn, that's what that's what he eat. Two o'clock in the morning, two fifteen in the morning. Yeah, scram with me two eggs on the stove real quick. Or scram me an egg real quick. You know what I mean? Just being real with y'all. Just being honest. Just being honest. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. You know, take care of my hunger pains. Want some fruit? I got some bananas in the fridge. I got uh, some fruit cups without sugar. You know, something. I know I'm gonna have something in my house to eat. Something. And guess what? If I can do that, so can you. You can do the same thing. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it literally be funny to me how many people show up to a fast food restaurant two o'clock in the morning. I'm serious. I be laughing like look at that. I be shaking my head at the line at cookout at two o'clock in the morning 
how long the line be at cookout, two o'clock in the morning for processed food. None of that food is really cookout. None of that food is really Taco Bell. None of that food is real in Sonny's. And the line be crazy. The line be crazy. We're not gonna talk about the online order. It be crazy to get processed food. People coming through spending fifty dollars, seventy dollars at night on processed food. Like it's so funny. Are you serious? Are you serious? You coming to the, you coming to a fast food restaurant to spend big money? To spend big money on processed food. I feel yeah, it do, it do, it do be a lot of college students coming through too. It, I ain't gonna lie to you, it be a lot of college students too coming through. You know what I mean? They were bored and just wanted to drive around and say, hey, let's go to Sunnys. Let go to Sunnys, sit seven deep in one car. But we sit there laughing at them like, wow. You know, you coming to a restaurant, two o'clock in the morning for food. I regret some of my kids. Y'all will see. When I move with this city stay hotel, you will see, huh? He fresh out work. What he eat? A banana, a fruit bowl. I'm gonna buy me a big bowl, but throw a bunch of fruit in it. I'm gonna make a fruit bowl that lasts a week. Maybe a big fruit bowl that lasts a week. You can have some everything and some grapes, some great whatever fruit I can buy to put in the fruit bowl. It gonna be in there. I'm just being real. That's the kind of stuff you would see me eating two o'clock in the morning. Cause so Saturday morning when I get home at two fifteen, I'm gonna stay up and, and do a thorough clean of my crib. I'm gonna stay in the hotel room and eat some fruit at the same time. You know what I mean? So if I can do that, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all should be able to do the same thing. Be being real, I just want to shed some light on that situation. I just want to shed some insight on that situation. A lot of restaurants, they take a full advantage of turn right to the park line. What the hell they got me going to? But just want to share that with y'all. Just want to share that little piece of information. Just want to share that little piece of information with y'all. While, while I'm out here working, just want to share that little piece of information. I want to share that little piece of information with y'all and uh, get that out there today. Get that out there today, you know? I'm going to go live again after I make the delivery. In between each delivery, I'm going to do a live stream. You know? Thank y'all for supporting me. I really, I really, 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 really am over thankful, over grateful for the support that I receive on my YouTube channel. It has been amazing. The support has been amazing on my channel. That's why I keep more and more topics going on. If there ever any topic that y'all want me to talk on, let me know in the comments. You no, know, once it's live in, leave it in the comments so I can write it down to do one day. Just being real with y'all. A moment to all talks, all discussions. You no. Know? That's a play on my YouTube channel. I want to be a place where we all can speak our mind on any topic. Like 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 the, like calling into the radio station. Yeah. You know everybody don't make it through as, as you call into the radio station, but hey. At least you know you come to my YouTube channel and and um at least, at least you know you come to my YouTube channel and, and share your thoughts in the comments. You know. At least you know you come to my YouTube channel and share your thoughts. So that's how we rock it.
That's how we rock it. What kind of prices is this? Uh, oh, that's it right there. This is just want to share that information with y'all. Quality of five five. Just want to share that information with y'all. Can I about to get off here and make this delivery? Yeah, I did. The more we keep the ground dirty, the more people stay employed. Twenty T I W question mark. Oh, I ain't got to do this. <coughs> That's not my first stop. My first stop is. I don't think so. How y'all doing today? So, y'all ever have any topics you want me to share my, want, want me voice my opinion on or open up for an open discussion? Then let me know in the comments because I got a, I got a good article I want to do a live stream on. I might just do it in a regular video because I still got to make a video for Sunday. I still have to make a video for Sunday. It's a, it's a very, how can I say this? It's a very, uh, what's the word I want to use? A very disturbing topic I want to share my opinion and my voice, my opinion and views on. But I got to read the article first. When I say very disturbing, very. I'm going to give you all the title. I'm, I'm doing a video later this week about a Sunday for Sunday. I'm going to record it today for Sunday. A video about something that happened yesterday in Houston. Give y'all heads up early. Give y'all a heads up early. Um, let me find it real quick. Um, I gotta say this is a strap for way without feeling sad about it. Three teenagers, pre-teen, they not they not all on not teenagers. Three pre-teen, pre-teen, meaning twelve. That the youngest one was 12, a 12 year old, 13 year old, and I think 11 year old, or a 12 year old, 11 year old, and a 14 year old robbed of a Wells Fargo bank yesterday. Let me say that one more time. Let me say that one more time. Boy, this, 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 this really, this really hit home with me. And I spent all day as I do the story. Uh, three teens, three pre teens robbed a Wells Fargo bank yesterday. I don't want to talk about it going details right now, but I want to read the article before I share my thoughts on to get all the details. Cause I seen the, I seen the headline. I had to say that to my, to my watch later section on Instagram. I'm going to that now to my save session. I gotta find it because like I heard it on the radio. Like what? Three teens robbed a Wells Fargo bank yesterday. Let me see where they where they where they, where they face that. Where's that other? Really? I gotta find that article. Please tell me I saved that article. Please tell me I saved that article somewhere. Uh, I gotta go for that again. Where's that article? Three teams robbed a bank yesterday. Here you go. Yeah, that was yesterday. It was posted yesterday. It said, Houston's Little Rascals. Three boys, 11, 12, and 16, arrested by FBI for allegedly robbing Wells Fargo Bank. Go look it up on Instagram. It's on Hollywood Unlock. It's on Hollywood Unlock. I'm going to show y'all. Because I got to make this delivery. It's on Hollywood Unlock. A 11 year old, a 12 year old, and a 16 year old robbed a, a, a Wells Fargo bank in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Let y'all see this. This is what I'm doing a video on. This was Sunday upload going to be about. I got to read it. Let's all get a good look at that. Houston's little rascal. Three boys, 11 years old, 12 years old, and 16. Arrested by FBI, not by the regular police, but by the FBI, 
for allegedly robbing Wells Fargo Bank. Y'all do know I am a father of three, right? I am a father of, a, of an 18 year old son and a 23 year old son. That's why they hit deep. That's why they hit deep. That's why they hit so deep with me. Just being real with y'all. But I'm about to make my first delivery of the day. That way I can get on to the next stop and hopefully make it home. At least, uh, that is messed up, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Entertain that conversation right now until I read the full article. Cause no, they said allegedly. I wonder why they say allegedly, not just robbed of Wells Fargo. Are they for certain that they robbed this bank, or are they not for certain? So I want to share my thoughts on that. That might be Sunday upload. I might, or I might do my other Sunday upload on another topic. But I got, I got, I found a lot of good stories to discuss on a video and, and and i try to do like the breakfast club do you know the breakfast club with charlamagne the god dj envy and jess hilarious whatever happened this week they'll talk about it next week in the news on the radio so i try to follow that same thing but i don't want to make all my whole week videos about them you know because i want to just i want to do videos about my life and all and whatnot whatnot so that's why now while i'm out driving once i done with my morning load well, I do my morning two or three drop-offs as I head back to the shop to load back up. I do a 30-minute live stream in that drive, you know, or, or I do it. And then when I done with my afternoon drop-offs deliveries, I do another 30-minute live stream on the way back to the job site to drop off the truck. You know, so I try to keep them coming every day. Not trying to beat the breakfast club to, it, to the punches, but, you know, I like to get it done. I like to get it done. So I'm gonna holler at y'all. I do another one, and, and as soon as I done with this delivery, y'all be blessed, be safe. Cause I got met the right spot, but I gotta see where the delivery gotta be made at. So I get back with y'all.